All right, welcome back to Brown's franchise here on Madden 24. Taking on the Bills this week. Um, I mean, we're three and two. They're three and two. Trying to win some games in this close division here. Looks like they're forecasting some heavy rain for the game. And we want to run the ball. We're going to try to run for 150 yards. And there's something I'd like to try to do before we start this game. We have some trade offers here. Let's review offers. Nick Cooper. Not much, not much. We do have a few offers. Let's see. I think first I want to check out free agents. Let's see. I'm looking for a power back to back up Devon A. Chain. Um, just think that'd be a good idea to try to get one. Try to bring somebody in who can bring some power to the run game. If this will decide to load. I hit the B button, so, uh, you know, we're just going to try it again. It's an offline franchise, so sometimes it's slow. Okay, I hit A and it just loaded all of a sudden. I'm um, looking for a power back. A lot of elusive backs here, and that's not at all what I'm looking for. Receiving back. The best power back is Samaji Piran and Leonard Fournette. And I'd kind of like somebody a little better than that. We don't have a lot of cap room. We can try to make a trade. Derrick Henry still on the Titans. I don't think we can get Derrick Henry. I'm going to be honest. He is 31 years old, so. Maybe we can trade Okokonkoro. O I don't know how to say his name. I'm sorry. I'm terrible. But. Um, that would actually put us over the salary cap. We would have to give up quite a bit more. What if we give them? No, that didn't help. Just... We just, we really can't afford anybody, so. Maybe we will just go with Leonard Fournette. We'll find a team that's interested in him. Anybody have more than red interest? Somebody whose needs are like right end. The 
Colts have. No, the Cardinals is their like third biggest need. Can we get a third round pick? Yeah, I mean that's that's gonna be a deal. We'll get another third round pick. Maybe we'll look to make us. <coughs> Excuse me. Maybe we'll look to make some more trades in the future, but. Um, or we could get like Clyde Edwards Alaire, but he's kind of the same kind of running back as well. We really don't even have enough room to sign Leonard Fournette. Okay. I mean, if I'm going to restructure contracts. And I know this is a very long intro here, but if I'm going to restructure contracts, then I'm going after somebody better. So we're going to restructure Miles Garrett. We actually can't. We've probably already done that. We're going to restructure Martin Emerson. We can't restructure Trevon Benson because he's still on his rookie deal. I don't know who else we're going to restructure, really. There's probably several players we've already restructured or have just signed new deals. So You'll probably cut a couple of the guys. Which I probably could have done from that menu, but... No, from here. I, I think Pierre... Sh I don't think we need McAllister. <coughs> I didn't want to edit him. That's not what I wanted to do. I'll free up some cap room. Free up a million in cap room to release or at least Pierre Strong. And if I'm planning on bringing in another running back, I'm probably going to release Strom Ford. So, also, Tresman Bowers is back this week. He had an injury, kept him out for several weeks, but he's back. Um,. So he'll be wide receiver two, and then Huggins, who's played well, will be wide receiver three. Also, Ethan Kilmer's back from his injury. He's completely healthy. And I think I'm still going to play Philip Wall. I think Philip Wall has kind of shown enough that he might. He might be able to play. Anyone on the defense we can release? Greg Newsom's injured, isn't he? Yeah.
That's not really worth it, is it? If we want to release McGuire, is it McGuire? If we release him, eh, that's not. It's not that worth it either. Can we restructure Wyatt Teller's contract? No. Man, there's really not anyone we can restructure here. I don't know how we're going to find any money to sign anybody. Somebody's probably just going to have to go. David Patterson's still on his rookie deal. Let me go back to the, the team salaries. Miles Garrett's deal is really eating up a lot of money, but I definitely don't want to get rid of him. Sort by savings. Wyatt Teller. But look at the penalty. I mean... Brenton Strange, we'd save one. We'd save like a million if we just cut him. Let's sort by penalty. Well, there's a lot of guys who have no penalty. And then uh, we'll just go up from there and see who we can save the most on. Jalen Naylor. Why is he even on the team? I put in special teams. We'll probably let DTR go. I don't know that that's going to free up enough space, but I think we're just going to end up signing Leonard Fournette. I think that's what we're going to do. It's either Leonard Fournette or Samaji Piron. And I think it's going to be Leonard Fournette. It's a very long, long intro here, but it's we've, we've gotten a few things accomplished. Phil Ball is going to start. Leonard Fournette going to be behind Devon A. Chain. Tresman Bowers at wide receiver too. Kind of need another tight end after I cut our last tight end. Unfortunately, Greg Newsom is out, so... We're down a corner as well, but we kind of just have to deal with that. Short. I really would love to know what Short's development trade is, but we're not going to find that out until the end of the season. Huggins is going to be our kick returner.
Anthony Ringer right now is our slot receiver, and I kind of don't like that. But I think we'll deal with it. We got Leonard Fournette as our power back. Miles Garrett. Yeah, see, our slot our slot corner is Mitchell. It's not really what I want. But I guess, you know, it's, it's fine. We'll get Greg Newsom back. And... Uh, let's just sign... Just sign a tight end. Might be a good one. Um, the best one is Brenton Strange, who I think we was the guy we just released, wasn't it? Um, well, it was, wasn't it? Was it not? I don't think it was. I think it was somebody else because he did not have that eye of an overall. The guy we released, he was like a 66. There's some really bad tight ends in here. A lot of practice squad guys. Brenton Strange is the best. I know that's not who we just had. But now I'm forgetting who the guy we cut was. I'm just going to change it in the depth chart. That way I don't have to reorder everything. But he's going to be tied in two. Waller can be tied in three. So, okay, I know, I know it's been 17 minutes of an intro now, but if you stuck around for this long, or I guess you could skip ahead um, or defend the deep pass. I don't want to throw a medium. I want to run inside. I want to run inside, and we're not. We've put Tresman Bowers back into our focus players. Just fine, so I guess we just won't do our practice drill, which I'm totally fine with. ACL sprain for is that Christian Wilkins. So it looks like we'll be out of out of out of defensive lineman with Christian Wilkins injured. Looks like the offense is healthy. Got a couple of upgrades before we get started here. Martin Emerson. We'll go slot. Plus one zone, plus one man, plus two tackle. JOK's got an upgrade. I'm going to go speed rusher. He's got great pass coverage, but plus two finesse moves, plus one tackle, plus one pursuit. Tresman Bowers actually has an upgrade. I'm going to go physical. I really want him to be that physical receiver. Short route running, release, and catch in traffic. He has really good catch in traffic. His acceleration is... We really haven't seen anything from him. We were in week six. He was injured for like four weeks. We really just haven't seen anything from him. We're going to get into the game finally against the Bills here. Hopefully it's a good one.
I had to do something on my phone there real quick, but we'll go ahead and kick off to the Bills here. Bills will get the ball first. And we'll be taking on Josh Allen. I think my volume's a little. Wright's going to play. Bandon probably going to play a lot more. A little quick pass for two yards to that Dalton Kincaid. We can take a look at the Bills team at some point. Ed Oliver going to have to play well. Miles Garrett going to have to play well. Just Christian Wilkins is out. Richardson, the running back. The linebackers are all healthy. They all need to play well. Jerome Baker. Jeremiah. Mosu Koromoa. Cook with the run. It's going to be fourth down. They're going to pawn it. Huggins with the return. Doesn't get much. And here comes Philip Wall. This game's kind of going to determine whether he keeps starting or not. So it's going to at least help determine that. I'd really like to find out his development trait because, I mean, if it's only star, I don't know that I want to keep playing him. He is a more of a scrambling quarterback, which I like. And I don't know where that pressure came from, but it was there instantly. Third and twenty one now. We're all just trying to throw it down the field. I guess we'll punt. Tucker's not a good punter. I should have looked for a punter in the trade. Maybe even in free agency. I might have found one in free agency. I don't know. Our punter's just bad. Denzel Ward with the coverage. We're blitzing Patterson on this play. That one's caught. That's a first down. Josh Allen finally doing something. And Oliver coming after him, that's a sack. And Oliver coming right up the middle. We're going to blitz the safeties on this play, hopefully. They don't hurt us over the top. But... That one's knocked out. Denzel Ward on the coverage again. Josh Allen scrambling there. And that one's knocked down by Thornhill. Thought he might have had a chance at an interception there, but not really. It's going to come out to the 20.
Oh no, it's gonna be a safety. It was a safety. I don't know what happened. I'll be honest, I wasn't paying attention, but it was a safety. I probably should have looked at the replay once I realized it was a safety. What happened? I guess I'll look back after I post the video, but... They're gonna hand it off here. Thornhill with the tackle. There was nobody else back to get him. There's a draw. Third and eight all of a sudden. caught that's a first down our offense hasn't even been on the field yet that one's picked off by McGuire all bouncing into the air and McGuire who wouldn't even be on the field Unless there was an injury. I mean, we were on the field. Our offense was on the field. I mean, we just went three and out. So I hand it off to A Chain. He gets nothing. Second and ten. We could we could hand it off to him again. He's gonna get six. Brings up third and four. Philip Wall going to throw it out for AJ. It's fourth and inches. Oh, that's tempting to go for it there. A fullback dive with Briley Moore. That's going to be a first down. Five yards on the fullback dive. We're going to flip Benson over here. But while going down the field for Benson, it's caught down to the 33. Devon H in four rushes for six yards. And had basically six yards on one rush. We're struggling to run the ball in the rain today. So. Wall out for Benson. It's going to be only a game of three. He was covered well. It's going to take us to the end of the first quarter. Third and six here now. I throw it for Bell. That's a first down. 
Bell with the catch. I think I'm going to change. I don't think I want Ringer's slot receiver here. I want Huggins at slot receiver because Huggins right now is not getting on the field as we're going to immediately throw it to Ringer. But I want Huggins on the field. He's a rookie. He needs to be on the field. Throw it out for A-Chain. He's going to get a few yards there. Third and two is a little more manageable. I'm gonna throw it to Bowers. He's gonna break a tackle. Just barely get enough for the first time. We run that play again, maybe? Bowers with the catch. Bowers gets the touchdown. Tresman Bowers. It's first week back from injury. Extra point is good. Well, we have the lead. I mean, Philip Wall is playing well. Defense going to come onto the field now. There's a big play from the Bills. They're not going to go away. All the way already out to the 48 yard line. Going to hand it off here. Actually, lose a yard on the ball. I mean, it was a, it was a blitz, so really didn't have anywhere to go with the ball. I'm actually gonna take Levi Bandon on this play. That one's knocked out of the hand of the receiver. I think we're gonna run the same play again. A defensive back blitz. A little tight end screen, and that's what that's going on. That's a bad play call by the Bills. There's, there's no way they're going to pick up more than 10 yards with that. Huggins is back to return. I'm going to 25. 8 for 8 on that last drive was full. I just like his release better than, than Ethan Kilmer. Ethan Kilmer has such a slow release. Mm -hmm. 
Von H ain't gonna get something on that play. Not a whole lot of anything. Now let's bring in Leonard Fournette. This is what we signed him for. Come in some of these short yardage situations with some more power. And he's gonna get the first down. He's gonna power up through the contact. Got about four minutes here, so. I mean, if we could try to take some time off the clock. It's going to get us six yards. Which is fine. We don't need, you know, 20 yards every play. Get six yards, run the ball. Try to pick up the first down. And there's the first down. Six rushes for 11 yards, which I know isn't great, but. That one's knocked down. Maybe go read option here. Gonna run it with Philip Wall. He's gonna pick up a couple of blocks. He's gonna scoot out of bounds. He's gonna get tackled out of bounds. Did get the first down. Tried to get it out in front of the receiver. There is a flag down. It's going to be roughing the passer. Going to get it out for A chain. He's going to try to turn up the field, but steps out of bounds. Second and two here. Gonna throw it immediately for Huggins. Almost picked. Probably could have been picked. Lucky you didn't catch the ball. Devon A chain gonna get up close to the first down, but that's gonna take us to the two minute warning. for this here. We're gonna run it with A-chain behind the fullback. He's gonna get the first down. Eight rushes for 14 yards, but some of these have been... Some of these have been uh, a lot of short yardage situations. There's a catch by Kadarius Tony for a touchdown. Take a 14 to 2 lead with the extra point. We could always look to Kilmer too on those fakes with him being the holder on the extra points and stuff. We have a play where the holder's throwing the ball. There's a fumble, and we're going to recover it. Everything going wrong for the Bills here. We're going to run the same play we just ran. Although it looks like they might have Kadarius Tony covered this time. We're going to try to get it to him in the back of the end zone. A little bit overthrown there. They had him covered well enough. Looking for Trevon Benson in the end zone. It's picked off. White with the interception. And we haven't done it yet, but we'll go ahead and take a look at the Bills team. 
Obviously, Josh Allen, backup is Easton Stick. James Cook, and they have Alton Langford, and they have Jeff Richardson, who was also playing. Andrew Beckett, fullback. Wide receiver, still Stefan Diggs. Paul Gills is here. Darius Slayton. Khalil Shakir. Justin Shorter. Dalton Kincaid, and then they don't really have a good backup. Marion Claiborne, who's a rookie, and not great. Offensive line. A lot of guys, you know, in the 70s, it's not the best offensive line. Greg Rousseau, Vaughn Miller at right end. DJ Jones at defensive tackle. Austin Knighton at linebacker. Sean Evans, Matt Milano, Tredavious White, who just had the interception, Arthur Floyd, uh, Elam at corner as well, Benford, Dean Yarborough, Dean Yarborough, Kate Stearns, kicker is still Tyler Bass, Hunter Sam Martin, who is not a high overall at this point. So it's a pretty good team, but again, not the best offensive line. <laughs> We're up 14 to 2. Could have been 21 to 2. We turned the ball over, so Emerson going to knock the ball out. Still could look to make it 21 to 2. Could even look to make it 28-2. That one's caught, though. Maybe they're going to run out the rest of the half here. They're going to call a timeout. We've also got all of our timeouts, so... That one's caught. They're going to hurry up to the line here. That one's nearly picked. Third and two now. Josh Allen gonna throw here. That one's complete. They're gonna call another timeout. Thirty-two seconds left. They got one timeout left. And McGuire with a sack. He's already got an interception. And they're gonna take their last timeout. That one's down the field and incomplete. Denzel Ward with some good coverage today. He's been. Locking guys down. Out of bounds for Josh Allen. And looks like they're going to punt. Huggins is going to get a return here. Up to the 21, we've got. Ten seconds left. Got ten seconds to try to just do anything with the ball. And that one's picked off. Tredavious White. Five seconds here. I mean, they've got no timeouts. I doubt they're going to be able to do anything. Ball bounces around and complete. And it's going to be 14 to 2 going into the half. We'll skip through halftime. There's no reason to sit through halftime. I think I'm going to go 
throw it deep for the second half. We've kind of abandoned the run at this point. In terms of actually being able to get it down the field. Short yardage stuff has still been good. Huggins on the return here. Out to the 25. Devon A.J. 100 rushes on the air for only 400 yards and two touchdowns. Maybe throw the bubble here to Tresman Bowers. He's going to get two yards. Go hurry up here and not throw the bubble this time. We've actually got Leonard Fournette in at fullback blocking. Gonna bring him third and three. Nine rushes for 19. He's really not had the season that he had last year. I mean, it's a first down though. Philip Wall trying to get out get away from that pressure and just ends up getting sacked there. Gonna get it out for Huggins. Huggins gonna get a first down. Keeping the drive alive there. Look for Bowers down the field. Overthrown. But Bowers on the other side now. Phil Ball trying to take off and just sacked in a mess of linemen there. Trying to throw it down the field for Benson. Just knocked down there. So, not a great punt. It's hard to get a great punt when your kick when your punter is such a low overall. Oh, there's a nice juke from was that stuff on digs there. Yeah. A short throw again. Not quite able to get the first down. There's Darius Slayton. There's a throw down the field. It's incomplete. Good coverage by Thornhill. And they're going to punt. Throw it up in the air for Huggins is going to make the catch. I'd like to build just a little bit more of a lead here. I'm going to throw it up for in the triple coverage for Benson. To be fair, I don't think it was triple coverage when I threw the ball.
definitely a gain of three for Devon A chain. I'm gonna run the ball again. Get close to a first down. They want us to go for it. Got Fournette in at fullback. He's going to pick up a block. That's enough for a first down. A great block there by Leonard. We keep running the ball. Keep taking time off the clock. As we move into a little bit more field goal range here. Best run of the day for Devon A. Chain. I'll take the delay game. I was looking at my phone. <sighs> we're on the same play that we were going to run. Pick up quite a few yards there. Is that seven yards? Brings us to second and eight. Power and third brings us to third and three. Throwing it for Benson, that's incomplete. I'm going to take the field goal. Perfect accuracy, and the field goal is good. Makes it 17 to 2. Makes it a 15 point game. And two touchdowns and a two point, a two point game. going to get the ball back here. They've got plenty of time, but really haven't done anything. Interception for Josh Allen. Our defense has managed to shut them down. And I think part of that is the pressure we've been able to get with their uh, not-so-great offensive line. Coverage has been pretty good, too. out of the hands of the receiver. I think we're going to win this game. I mean, unless we really blow it here. It's the third and four. That's going to be a first down. Josh Allen maybe starting to feel it a little bit here. They don't have to run another play here. Let's we'll see if they do. They won't. It'll be the fourth quarter.
get into the fourth quarter here. Still a 15 point game. Hopefully we can keep them out of the end zone here. They're throwing into some tight windows today. That ball's a little higher, maybe it's caught. Josh Allen throwing that one pretty low to the ground. But that one's caught. Patterson tried to level him and miss. Try safety blitz here. Switch over to Ed Oliver. They're gonna try to run the ball. Only four rushes today for Cook. That one's dropped. Had to go back quite a ways for that ball. It's a handoff on third and ten. Kind of surprised at that. And they're just going to settle for a field goal. After handing it off on third and ten. Gonna be seventeen to five now. Which means it's still a two possession game. I'm definitely gonna try to work the clock here. As much as I can. Bring A chain out behind Leonard Fournette again. Don't get much there, but the clock's going to continue to move. Got nothing on that one. I'm going to go hurry up here. Benson still not able to get a catch. Well, we're going to have to punt the ball. Benson has not been effective down the field today. It's been because of Travarius Tr White. He has really, uh, really shut Benson down on that. Those plays down the field. Josh Allen hasn't been accurate today. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the rain. Is there uh, some sort of momentum factor that I'm not paying attention to? What is the momentum factors? Uh, we'll keep using auto flip. Away team struggles hearing hot routes inside the red zone. Home team has improved blocking. So. It's definitely not that. I don't know if the rain actually makes that much of a difference. They're going to go for it here. Down 12. With five minutes to go. They're going to go for it here on fourth and six. Josh Allen holding on to the ball. He finds an open man. That's a, that's going to be a first down. Decision to go for it pays off there.
There's a catch, but they don't get much. JOK on the tackle. Got Levi Bannon in the middle here now. A lot of drops today. Fourth and ten, they're going for it again. He's sacked. Mitchell with the half a sack. He's going to leave us with four and a half minutes to try and put this game away. And Philip Wall fumbles the ball. Luckily, we get it back. Throw it up for Devon A. Chain is picked off once again. You already know it's White with his third interception of the game. I was hoping Devon A. Chain would work down the field a little farther and he would throw it deeper than that. But there's a catch. And the Bills going to go hurry up here. It's only three minutes left. It's another catch, and now they're already down to the 11 yard line. We're going to audible here. That one's caught. If he would have just jumped, that would have been a pick. Dalton can decade with the touchdown. Bill scored quickly, I mean. I think we'll go for the outside kick here. Probably not with how much time is left in the fact that they've got all their timeouts. I have not returned a kickoff in a long time in this game. Once again, we got Fournette in fullback. It's a gain of a yard there. Just trying to take some time off the clock here. I know he fumbled it the last time, but we're going to go with a read option here with Philip Wall. Probably should have handed it off, but that's going to take us to the 10 minute warning. Or we could run a play. I'm going to snap the ball with 201. Get it down the field to Benson. That's caught. And that might just be the game right there. It's going to be the two minute warning. 157 remaining. Hand it off to A-Chain. They're going to call timeout. I'm not going to run it three times in a row. If they stop us on second down, I will throw the ball. On third down. Oh, maybe not. Third and three. We'll go hitches here. We'll go hitches. Try to get it to somebody. Open here. I'm going to throw for A chain. He's got the first down. That's going to be the game. He's going to run out pretty much the rest of the clock. 146 remaining. A chain, 22 rushes for only 65 yards, but a lot of those yards have been pretty impactful. We'll run some time down here and. Snap the ball. And... I'm 
should take the rest of the time off the clock. No reason to stab this with any more than five seconds on the clock. But I think I'm going to try to get another touch touch. I'm going to be greedy. Look over the middle for Devon A. Chain. Going to get down to the 17 yard line. No huddle here. Phil Wall trying to take off. We go no huddle. Run out the rest of the clock. Game's over. We win 17 to 12. Player stats here. Josh Allen 22 for 43. Touchdown and a pick. 17 for 30 for Philip Wall. Actually, I had less yards passing than Josh Allen. And uh, two touchdowns and three picks. So. Rushing Devon A. Chain. 2.7 yards per carry. It's pretty bad. 31 of those yards after contact. Dalton Kincaid had a good game. Devon A. Chain did have six catches for 55 yards. Benson did have a few catches. Trisman Bowers had a touchdown. Kadarius Tony had a catch for a touchdown. Defensively, several guys with tackles for loss. Had a couple of sacks. Did have an interception from Isaiah McGuire on just an insane ball that was batted up in the air, and he somehow came down with it, so... Seventeen to twelve against the Bills. I mean, it's a great win. We're gonna be four and two. We won the game. We got some XP for that. Probably would have got a better bonus if we'd have done the rushing goal. But I mean, it's fine. We're gonna take on the Bears next week. Hopefully, they're bad. I mean, I really don't know. They're two and four. I mean, that should be a win. Hopefully. I think I'm probably going to try to re-sign Jalen Phillips this week. I can try now, but he wants a lot of money. We'll go 15 and 11. He's going to re-sign. Okay. Do we have money for Wyatt Teller? We barely have money for Wyatt Teller. Like a, a bare minimum deal. I've, I don't know if he would take that deal. I think we're probably going to be better off to try to franchise tag him at the end of the season. Um, and maybe see if there's anybody else we want to resign or anything. So We're 4-2. and two. The Ravens dropped to 4-2. and two. Only the Steelers are ahead of us in the division at 5-1. and one. We will take on the Bears next week, so... Should be good. We're a bit higher overall than they are, so. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully well, but. Uh, game will be in Chicago, so. I will see you then. Have a good day.